Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my six month postpartum update. I'm so excited to do this video. I feel like so much has changed. I'm in such a great place. Um, I, just, I can't believe it's been six months, first of all, but I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into everything. So um, weight loss, of course, is like the number one thing that I feel like you guys probably wanna know. That's what I would wanna know. Um, I think my last checkup was or check in on YouTube was three months postpartum. I believe I was 133 pounds and that was right back at my pre-pregnancy weight. So I had lost 41 pounds. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually at about 123 pounds, which is insane. It actually kind of ranges from 120 to 124. So 123 is my pretty much average right now. I cannot even believe that. I thought my goal was to get back to 133, maybe 130, maybe 125 in like a year. I never thought I would get to 120. It's insane. I think breastfeeding has so much to do with that weight loss. Um, so all in all, that leaves, I think, like 52 pounds of weight that I've shed off my body. So that is just so crazy. Um, my stomach can prove to it because there's you know, a lot of loose skin. Now I know how it must feel for women, not even pregnant, but just that gain weight and lose weight quickly. Your skin totally just changes. Um, but I don't even care because I just feel so great. I feel like I, I just, I can't even believe it. Like things are baggy on me. Like it's just so exciting, especially when you just felt, well, for me, in my case, I just felt like the biggest whale ever <laughs> the last, couple months of my pregnancy so I feel so like back to normal energized happy healthy and I'm loving it um, another thing is hair loss um, like I feel like I'm actually balding it's terrible I think my last update I was like oh I have so much hair my nails are so long totally opposite now um, like hair like just falls out in chunks like daily it's disgusting um, and I don't know what to do. I'm gonna start taking my folic acid again. Hopefully that'll help, but I know that that is a postpartum symptom, so hopefully it'll just go away, we'll see. But I've been parting my hair kind of more in the center because when I do the side part, like you can just see like all this, like my husband was like, are you balding? So another thing, Cal's just singing a song over there. Um, another thing is, I have no butt. Like, I used to have like a nice like little peach round booty and now it's like flat. And it's to the point where like even leggings, I'll show you guys, even leggings are like saggy. It's pretty disgusting. So, can you see that? It's just really like so flat, um, which I don't like. So I'm definitely going to be, you know, trying to build my um, glute muscles back up by squatting and just lunging, all that good stuff for your butt um, at the gym. Um, another thing I wrote on here was that I felt like I was withering away. So at one point I just started like shedding pounds like crazy. I can eat anything and everything and still stay like in the 120, 124 pound range. So it's just kind of crazy. I'm like, things that didn't fit me, you know, two years ago now fit me. Like even my arms, things that were too tight on my arms. I, he's not crying, he's just talking. <laughs> things that didn't fit my arms now fit my arms. Just like, it's just crazy. Like how much, I mean, my ring, my wedding ring, that I couldn't fit on my finger at 20 weeks pregnant is now like loose and like actually like falls around on my finger. Like that's just mind blowing. I like, it's just crazy. <laughs> um, working out. So I have just got back into working out. Um, throughout the six month postpartum journey, I would start kind of working out at home for a few days and then I was like over it. Um, I ran a few times and I was over it. I do want to get back into running though. Um, I joined a gym that was far away from my house. So I did that for like a week. Then I was over it. It was too far away. Finally, I feel like I'm at a good place. I joined a gym like 15 minutes from my house. 
which is honestly the closest thing to where we live. Um, 15 minutes away, I've been going now for two weeks straight, almost daily, and I love it. There's a place for Cal to go while I go work out. They have classes. I've also been doing my own workouts. Um, I've really been loving like weightlifting, um, doing like weighted squats, upright rows, just stuff like that, like with a 40 pound bar, which is pretty much what I used to do. Um, I don't wanna build up a whole lot of bulk like I feel like I had before. Um, I really wanna keep it lean and toned. So um, I also did yoga today, which felt amazing. I missed yoga so much. I love doing yoga. I think it's just, it's just so nice to like stretch out and it also can be a good workout too. So with all the working out, my milk supply I think has dropped a little bit. Um, it's like every time I talk, he wants to start talking. So I think my milk supply has dropped a little bit because um, the only really way that I know is because I still pump every morning for about five minutes just because I like to have a stash and then I also can like kind of know what my milk supply is like because I can actually see it. Um, so when I pump, I notice like the past week I've been getting like two to five ounces in the morning, which I was getting like five to eight. So it's a little bit of a dip. And so I'm just taking my lactation plus, I swear by this, you guys, this is like the best. I did stop taking it for a while because my supply was fine. So I started taking it again and I'm just going to try to probably take like two a day and just really boost up my supply. Um, I'm not really worried about it, but I know working out and burning calories, you need like that fat on your body in order to, you know, feed your child. Um, wraps and body creams. So I think I've mentioned like the body creams and stuff like that in all my other videos that I've tried like stretch mark creams and like cocoa butter and, um, what's that other butter that I like? Um, I can't think of it now. Lots of different like creams and butters and stuff that I've been using. Um, I also had like the It Works wraps. So um, I've been using stuff off and on though. I've never just like gotten it every single day and put it on my stomach. So I've never like really religiously used one specific product or whatever, um, just a variety. The It Works wraps, I've used three of them in the past six months and and I did some research the other night when I was wearing one, just because I think my rep was like, yeah, it's fine during while you're breastfeeding. She had breastfed, I think, while using them. So I just did some research and it seems like maybe it might not be safe while breastfeeding, so I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm probably not going to wrap again while I'm breastfeeding still, which... Oh my goodness, I'm probably not going to use the wraps anymore, even though I really, really like them. I think I'm gonna wait till we're done breastfeeding. Um, if you guys know about that, let me know down below. I know there's a lot of It Works people out there that probably um, have some advice. I think the best thing they said was just check with your doctor. So I'm not sure, but I did go ahead and order a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Firming and Tightening Cream. So I will insert a picture so you guys can see what that looks like. Hopefully that will help. I think that that's a pretty safe um, thing to use. I used that same brand all through pregnancy. So I feel like my stretch marks have diminished a ton. And I am going to show you guys some crazy pictures of my stretch marks when I was pregnant. My stretch marks one month after birth. and my stretch marks now. So it's just totally mind blowing like how much they've diminished and like there's no miracle cream. There's nothing like, yes, I've used lots of products but I can't just pinpoint like one thing that I use that really made a difference. Um, I am interested in trying some more wraps and stuff like that, um, maybe some like I don't know, different stuff. Um, but I will say exfoliating has helped a ton, I think. I think it's really important to exfoliate and like get those cells to renew and all that. 
I'm gonna do a whole video on my postpartum body products for stretch marks and weight loss and all of that because there have been things that I've been using. Um, I think you probably know most of them, but I'll just do a whole like sit down video on just that. Um, and then as far as diet, I have been eating like a cow pretty much. Um, I eat constantly because I'm constantly hungry. I'm breastfeeding, so I think that makes you hungry. I still have a sweet tooth. I still have treats at night before I go to bed. Like I have not a lot, but like maybe one or two cookies or a couple scoops of ice cream or just like a little piece of chocolate, like just something small to um, satisfy my sweet tooth. Um, I don't have my period yet. I think that's pretty common to not have your period while you're breastfeeding. So it is hard to know if I'm pregnant. Um, I'm not, I just took a test because we actually just booked a vacation. So I'm super excited about that. I'll talk about that in just a second. But um, I basically had been taking a pregnancy test like once a month just to make sure because we aren't trying, but you never know what could happen. So I just don't wanna end up being like 20 weeks pregnant and I didn't even know or like something crazy because I didn't have a period to miss. So I have been taking those, um, but we booked a vacation to Mexico in three months. So Cal will be nine months old and he will not be coming with us. We're gonna do it by ourselves. Um, we just wanted to have a trip for ourselves. I don't know, I, I feel bad and guilty, but I know that um, we deserve it and we need that time to ourselves, just me and my husband to, you know, keep the romance alive and have some just fun time without our baby. And I think that, you know, traveling with your spouse and doing things together with just you and your spouse, like make your marriage and relationship stronger and that in return makes it better for your children. So we're gonna do that and take advantage of his vacation days through work and just go to Mexico. But um, I'm just kind of freaking out because I'm still gonna be breastfeeding. So I'm going to be pumping while I'm there, which totally sucks, but It'll be fine. We're staying at a resort, so we won't be leaving the premises or anything. We'll be close to our room at all the time, at all times, so I can just go in and pump. I'll probably set like a timer on my phone for every like four or five hours to go pump, and I guess I'll dump it. I don't know. Is there a place I can donate my milk to in Mexico? I don't know, but I'll be drinking, so um, I probably won't even need to save it, but I'm not gonna take it back with me, that's for sure. Um, I have so much milk. I've actually, I'm probably going to start donating. Um, I guess that's it. Okay, so back to the traveling thing. Um, what else did I wanna say about that? I think I just wanted to say, um, oh, I wasn't gonna do a nine month update because I felt like, okay, who cares? Like you're, we get it, you had a baby. Um, but I think I will do a nine month update after I get back from my trip, just to let you guys know like how um, breastfeeding is still going with having that trip because I'm so scared of losing my supply or something like that because I won't be around him and I'll have to just strictly pump. We're gonna be gone for five days. So I wanna be really, really strict on my pumping so that I can you know, get it all out and not end up losing my milk. So we'll see how it goes. So I probably will update you guys then. And um, also I'm trying to get like bikini body ready. So I will probably give you an update on how that went. And I will show you guys how I look now. Okay, so I'm just wearing like a sweater and here is my stomach. So here's just me being like normal. But then here's if I'm tightening my stomach. So you can totally still see like stretch marks and loose skin and whatever. Um, here's from the side. Here's from the other side. So I definitely still have some work to do um, as far as getting my stomach back to where I want it to be. But I'm just so proud and happy with the way it looks now. Um, I probably will still wear one pieces or high-waisted swimsuits while we're in Mexico just because I feel more comfortable. I know like, I hate to say it, but I know that my husband isn't like 
attracted to my stretch marks or saggy skin on my stomach. So I know you should just like be happy with how you look and who you are and it shouldn't matter, but I'll probably still like maybe wear one pieces and high waisted ones unless I can feel totally, totally confident, but um, we'll see. And as far as I think I talked about, I wanted to do like treatment and stuff like that on my stomach back way back when, when my stomach was like craziness. Um, I'm feeling so much better that I don't think I want to like do like the microdermabrasion or skin tightening or laser or anything like that until we're done having kids. So maybe down the road, two or three kids later, we're done. I might seek out a procedure to just get everything back to where, where I would like it. Who knows, I may need a boob job by then too. So we'll just, we'll just wait, but I'm not gonna do anything extreme until we're done having kids. And as far as having more kids, definitely not getting pregnant before I go to Mexico. So three months of not getting pregnant. And then we'll just see what happens after that. So who knows, we might get a souvenir in Mexico. So that's all I have to share with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for um, following me throughout my whole pregnancy journey. If you've been here the whole time, it's just crazy to look back on some of these old videos and see how freaking swollen and huge I was and just how far your body can go. And it's just, it's insane. It's so fun. I'm so glad I have everything documented. So thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.